There are many species of fleas that infect different types of animals. Any subtle differences in the way they look don't really matter when you consider that the majority of fleas found on pets in the USA are cat fleas. Cat fleas have adapted to infect and drink the blood of other animals, but dog fleas are very specific to dogs, as dog flea infestations are much rarer. Chances are that you will be treating both your pet dog and cat for cat fleas. Today, we're going to talk about the differences between cat fleas vs dog fleas. Now let's start the video to better understand. The Flea Life Cycle All species of flea grow and develop through the same stages, which are referred to as the flea life cycle. This life cycle can complete in two, four weeks in optimum, warm slash humid conditions. Adults, adult fleas are small insects about 1-3 mm in size, brownish red and wingless. They hatch out of small cocoons on the ground when an animal passes by. The flea will then feed on the animal, drinking blood, and will start reproducing. X. If mated, female fleas can lay up to 50 eggs a day. These eggs are tiny and hard to spot, rolling off of the animal onto the ground. In the right conditions, they hatch into larvae within 2 to 12 days. Larvae. Larvae look like small, pale, wriggly worms. They prefer the dark, so they crawl into cracks and gaps, like between carpet fibers or in the sofas of your home or on the ground outside. They feed on organic debris, including skin flakes, food particles, and feces from mature fleas that have fallen onto the floor from your pet. Pupae. The larvae feed and grow, then spin themselves a sticky cocoon out of silk, turning into a pupa. Dust and dirt stick to it, camouflaging it and making it hard to suck up through a vacuum. This can remain disguised in its environment for weeks or months until an animal passes by again. Then out hatches an adult flea, and so the life cycle starts again. What problems can fleas cause? Both dog and cat fleas will bite to feed on blood, which can be very itchy. In animals with high numbers of fleas, this itchiness can be very intense, leading to sore, inflamed skin. Underlying allergies to the flea saliva can make reactions even worse. How do I get rid of fleas? You will need to treat both the adult fleas on your pet and the many immature fleas and eggs that are in the environment too. There are a variety of different problems